Every time Lenny Moore was given the ball, it was the beginning of a unique adventure, a classic in cleats. I fell in love with the spats. <laughs> Lenny was the first player that I saw. His ankle was taped outside the shoes. He was the start of that. Me and some of the guys who would see him would be just, woo, woo. They made him look beautiful. Boy, after a while, everybody had their ankles taped outside because they thought it looked good. But style took a backseat to substance for the Baltimore Colts' Lenny Moore. Lenny Moore gets the ball, and Lightning Len lights out like a frightened fox in a forest fire. The Redding Rocket roars nonstop to a 41-yard touchdown, and Baltimore is on top, 7-0. I'm a speed guy, so I respect speed. And uh, Lenny always had that burst away from people. Whether he was catching a ball or running it out the backfield. Lenny Moore's versatility allowed him to line up at halfback or flanker, blazing a trail for the likes of Bobby Mitchell, Roger Craig, and Marshall Falk. In Moore's career, he scored 26 touchdowns of over 50 yards, the most by any running back in NFL history. But in 1963, his career was threatened by a knee injury. You get an injury, it's all over. And they would begin to say things about Lenny, about this might be it, and that type of thing. I dedicated myself in 1964. I said, well, if they think I'm through, I'm going to show them. And I'm going to have the best year I've ever had, because it's going to start from day one. My attitude changed and my dedication was toward proving that I was still there, that I could still do the job. Moore scored 20 touchdowns in 1964, completing a streak of 18 straight games with a touchdown. I was so happy to see him say, hey, <laughs> it's not over. And Lenny, Lenny did that. And just went on and completed a great career. <laughs> 